the problem with unconstitutional anti-Second Amendment laws is eventually these laws are going to find some people in jail. And when you find yourself in jail because of an unconstitutional law, you have a lawsuit on your hands. And what we're seeing right now is U.S. District Judge just ordered the District of Columbia to pay $5.1 million in restitution for violations of arresting people because they took a gun outside their home and carried it and were arrested for that thing. So ultimately what it is, is DC had on the books, uh, probably still does, I'd be curious if you know, put that below, uh, that you're not allowed to carry a gun outside your home. Uh, the only way you can bring a gun outside your home is in a car. Um, and that's if you're going to a gun range, like you can't stop for gas or anything like that. Uh, similarly to New York. And as we saw last year uh, with the New York Rifle and Pistol Club versus Bruin, that that was uh, overturned. And we've seen all sorts of issues since then. But now what we're seeing, according to that Bruin case, is now U.S. District Attorney has said, OK, you violated the law according to the Supreme Court, and you have to pay $5.1 million in restitution. So, you know, my guess is there's probably all sorts of folks around this country who have been arrested for anti-constitutional, anti-Second Amendment laws, and there should be restitution. Uh, you should not be thrown in jail for performing your constitutional rights. Uh, so I'm glad to see this. And again, a U.S. District Judge uh, tells the District of Columbia, Washington, D.C., you pay $5.1 million for violating these people's rights, throwing them in jail. And in the end, you should probably be the one to be thrown in jail because you're the one that actually broke the law in the first place. Uh, so there you go. This is all just a product of the Supreme Court. Uh, that that Bruin case, and now we're just we're just beginning to just beginning to see what's about to happen uh, over people being arrested over the years uh, for these violations. Uh, if you have any thoughts or insight on that, definitely put that below. I would like to add that most people that watch this channel uh, do not subscribe to this channel. Please take a moment and subscribe. It. it greatly increases our messages being heard through the algorithm. But the most important part of this channel, we take prayer requests and so never hesitate to send that in. Thank you for watching the episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, love God, love your family, love guns.